a professional sport since 1995, rugby is extremely physically demanding. Over 20 years, players have transformed bigger and stronger than before, while the game is faster and more hard-hitting. Tackling is one of the riskiest parts of the game. The power and pace involved means rugby players are subjected to increasingly violent collisions with both the defender and tackler at risk. Tackles cause around half of all professional injuries. Heads are particularly vulnerable, including scalps and eye sockets, while concussion is a real risk. The force of the shock to the brain can lead players to lose consciousness and cause neurological problems as well as loss of vision and memory. Snapped cruciate ligaments, dislocated shoulders and ankles are all common injuries. Other risky phases in the game, particularly for forwards, include scrums, rucks and mauls. Knees, collarbones, elbows are all subjected to powerful impacts. More seriously, spinal cord injuries can cause paralysis. Players can also hurt themselves running, snapping hamstrings or tearing ligaments in knees or ankles. To limit the risk of injury, physical preparation is essential to build up muscles necessary to absorb impacts, particularly during the scrum. It's also important for players to play by the rules, be penalised if they ignore them and avoid playing when injured. Padded equipment, helmets and mouth guards can reduce superficial injuries but can't prevent concussion. 